I uh, want to uh, talk to Leslie Pickers joining us this morning because activist investors have been fairly quiet recently and Leslie Picker is here to tell us why they may very well be in, we'll call it a summer hibernation, is that we fair like or is this an all year hibernation? I think it's been a whole, an all-year hibernation, all of 2019, and it, it kind of sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? The silent activists. But this year, those investors, known for saber-rattling in the C-suites of the biggest corporations, have been outwardly quiet. 303 companies worldwide were publicly subjected to demands by activists in the first half of the year, according to Activist Insight. That's the smallest number for the first half of the year, going back six years. The figure is actually down about 20 percent from last year's peak. Only 19 campaigns went to a final vote in the first half of the year, and nearly 80% of those were for companies that were based overseas, according to Lazard. So what's driving the muted action? Well, sources close to many prominent activists say they've been worried about a big market sell-off. It's tough to sell your stock in a correction if you're publicly agitating for changes at a company, and especially if you've just won board seats at that company. So far, this hunker-down strategy, though, seems to be working. Activists are up more than 9% this year through July, according to HFR. In the current market environment, getting long and levered, which is the activist strategy, has paid off. But with the recent sell-off, that may be changing, guys. But it looks like the outperformance is slim Half. at best. And I'm wondering if, if you're seeing any impact on fundraising for some of these, uh, some of these big-name investors who are performing okay, but just okay. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good question. So even though they're you know, returning 9% in the first half of the year, that's compared to about 20%, including dividends for the S&P 500. So they're still returning about half the S&P. And it is a direct comparable to the S&P because this strategy is specifically long and levered. So yes, the question is, is this impacting fundraising? Absolutely. Investors who have been kind of putting money into this strategy in the bull market, because this is a bull market strategy for the most part, um, have been paring back um, in terms of donating, uh, not donating, but giving money to activist funds in the first half of the year. Um, and that's largely due to this underperformance and the fact that if you're long and lever to you know, large companies in the S&P, then it's really hard to justify continue, continuing to put money into these funds. Right. How many of these guys have just stopped doing business? It just to the extent that some of them have had a, a decent run, first couple, and just said, "I'm I'm done for the done for the year." Like, well, like hands down, like cards it's down. It's hard to know what people are doing behind the scenes, and a lot of people you speak to say, "Oh, well, we're not just you know at the beach all summer. We're actually speaking with management, engaging behind the scenes." You, as the public and as the media, are just not hearing about it, and you do hear you see certain activists that are more active than others. You know, names like Elliot and Starboard come to mind this year in terms of the campaigns that they wage. Icon as well. Um, but by and large, the entire uh, strategy has been a lot quieter than usual.